The entrepreneur, oh, she's crafty, always having ideas, always questioning society, wondering how differently she would do it. You see, innovation brings out the light in her, and she begins to build. And as she builds, she becomes vested, as she is now in love with something greater than herself. Great successes along with terrific failures, that's the entrepreneur's way. Because she knows sometimes the world is against her. New ideas, taking risks, well, why would you ever do that, says the status quo. So she works harder to collaborate, and she works harder to cooperate, gambling with her social capital, barely getting by with her running tab. Crazy the entrepreneur is, bootstrapping with no funding in sight, yet she still dives headfirst into the unknown. Because she knows if only she could tap the right resources, this vision she has deep down inside would begin to take shape. And she knows that this vision could transform things forever. The entrepreneur, oh, she's crafty. Good evening, my name is Andre Bokes, and I'm here to talk with you all about a different form of entrepreneurship. Imagine a world where you can apply this entrepreneurial craftiness to creating social change, one where social clusters are not just for having fun, but igniting a cause. Imagine a world where social efforts embrace innovation to deliver its services. A world where we can get government to embrace, <clears throat> excuse me, to reduce the barriers to entry and accelerate our growth. Imagine a world where private funding seeks out those social innovators and connectors who catalyze change. I'm not talking about affecting five or ten people, but producing real transformative change for the masses. In our great city of Memphis, entrepreneurship can pull all this out, can pull us out of this talk of potential, and push us into this conversation that highlights results. Yes, entrepreneurship can be this vehicle. This is no easy task, with many barriers that try to hold entrepreneurs down. Barriers include aversions of risk and new ideas. This plagues communities all over the country, and if they're not careful, they will find themselves decades behind. What else is trying to hold entrepreneurs down? Government and private sector entrenchment, repeating the same efforts because it's comfortable, because there is a lack of understanding, and the refusal to accept that we are in a knowledge and innovation-based economy. How are they trying to hold entrepreneurs down? Through prescribed funding. Because of this entrenchment, we fund what we have always funded, and what <clears throat> We fund what we have always funded. Why are entrepreneurs being held down? The professionalism curse, where leaders in the community have lost touch with what the community wants and needs. <clears throat> Yet many of these leaders make decisions based on this ignorant perception. In short, we are cursed by professionals thinking they know best. So how do we take the shackles off these entrepreneurs? We must start building a public. We must build a community of engaged citizens to demand change in a social political system. Concerted civic participation can facilitate the process of bringing new ideas to the table. We must start opening space for innovation, creating space for breakthrough civic accomplishments. We must promote a culture of innovation, provide information, and force transparency, offer events that allow for civic discovery, and finally protect those efforts that challenge the status quo. We must start trading good deeds for measurable results. We must begin asking the right questions, like, are current efforts producing quantifiable improvements in the community? And if they are not, trade them out for those that do. We must start seeing opportunity where others see liability. In a city where many see negatives, there are numerous opportunities to be had. Numerous ideas must constantly be brought to the table. Today, what I am talking to you about is civic entrepreneurship, the galvanizing of nonprofits, social clusters, government, and the business community to produce a platform of synergy, which advances a social cause, producing transformative change. We must create a vortex of social change, where governments and the private sector are market makers. They have the power to fund, replicate, and expand different efforts. <clears throat> while social clusters and nonprofits are the service providers who are champions of a particular innovation. It is civic entrepreneurship that ensures the community is included in the economic development picture. In a money-hungry world, it is civic entrepreneurship that allows for true social progress, elevating the community alongside the business sector. Civic entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship through the acts of social entrepreneurs, philanthropists, business leaders, elected officials, students, activists, and many, many more. 
We all have a part to play. Thank you.